I'm delighted to be back here talking with Keith Lord. Uh, the Bannon Hotels is down below us here on Broadway. We're in the Rotherham, which is just a few up. Keith, you, 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 you can't stop. You, this is now your no. next project. Yeah, next project. Full refurbishment. And, uh, you know, we're hoping to uh, fill it with the business that we're turning away from the mamming. Oh, that's good news. That's been yeah. asking how it's yeah. going down there. Yeah, quite optimistic. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's quite a good future in tourism, providing we've got the right accommodation. Now, we're going to show you around here. That I don't know how... Well, you'll know... Uh, how long this has been open till recently? I'm looking at it. Yeah. I mean, some of the beds seem to be almost yeah. flat. Yeah, open, open until approximately five weeks ago. But I mean, it's still really old fashioned layout. Yeah. I mean, most people yeah. haven't even got, uh, well, I think they may have a sink, but they you know, go to the toilet down the end of the road and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's just it, to, a thing like this, really, it's not doing any good to industry mm -hmm. or the Isle Man. You know, people expect a lot more now. And what are your plans? Are you going to do what you did with the melon? Just drop the whole thing and keep a facade? Or what? No, no. Um, it's in a conservation area, so essentially we we can't touch anything on the outside. Right. The melon were a different story. We were in a dangerous condition and we had to pull that down. But as, as you see, we've uh, re recreated in the Victorian style, pretty mm -hmm. much as it were. So the outside won't look any different here? No, no, no. But inside, I'm guessing there's got to be a lot of gutting going on. <laughs> yeah completely gutted out and all new floors you know concrete floors mm -hmm. sprinkler systems in it modern alarm systems and uh, you know twice the room sizes all we on en suite facilities so, so I was going to ask you you know where do you place this with next to the man in the same level or well it, essentially it'll be no different than the man in, mm -hmm. inside it, it will be a, a modern a, a new building inside a whole one mm -hmm. and that's essentially what we're doing we put a, a steel frame in inside the old building all new concrete floors concrete stairs lift shaft all right getting the lift so yeah the, uh, you, you do like a project I'm, I'm taking it <laughs> <laughs> well as you know I've done lots of projects yeah. um, I should be slowing down but still got a bit of appetite I'm interested to hear about your confidence in the tourism sector, though. I think a lot of yeah, people would be yeah. as well. I, I think the Isle of Man could expand 100, 150,000 inside five years. Just because people would be travelling so far and all that sort of thing? The, the homestay market is absolutely booming. Um, North Yorkshire's seen about 30, 40% in five years. Um, Cumbria Lake District's gone up from about 12 million to around about 21 million turnover. Right. So, so a resurgence in that sort oh of market? Yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't want to be bothered with the mm. long old jets. and we, we, We've actually got quite a lot to offer on the island, haven't we? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, lots of heritage stuff and, it, you know, it just wants the right accommodation and reasonable prices getting here. So sort of overflow for your other place this will be and, and yeah, keep keeping yeah. its name will it? Or I think it, it will stand on its own. Right. Regardless, I mean, we, the times we're turning people away at Manning is unbelievable. Okay, well we're going to follow this project. How yeah. long till we have the uh, unveiling? Oh, now then. I, I'd say there's six, seven months work in this poll. Yeah. So. So some, is it, will it be 2020 or 21 or what? Which, which year we go for? Uh, for 20. Okay. Aiming for around July 20. All right, that's going to be so nice and fast. We'll have to get on with it. <laughs>